This is your WFHR Daily News Roundup for locally grown radio 97.5 FM and 1320 AM and West Country 105.5 FM WIRI in Wisconsin Rapids. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. A record number of people are working in Wisconsin, a little more than 3 million of us. The Department of Workforce Development says the statewide jobless rate for July was 3%, a little higher than 2.9 in June, but still lower than the national rate of 4.3%. 1,300 more people got jobs in Wisconsin last month. Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance campaigns in Milwaukee today. Stuart J. Waddles reports. Vance speaks at the Milwaukee Police Association headquarters. It's his second visit to Wisconsin since accepting the Republican VP nomination at the Pfizer Forum last month. He spoke to a small group at a factory in Eau Claire last week. Meanwhile, Vice President Harris and Democratic running mate Tim Waltz plan to be in Milwaukee Tuesday. Stuart J. Waddles, Civic Media News. The Democratic Party wants to keep the Green Party off the presidential ballot in Wisconsin. Its complaint alleges the Greens don't have anyone eligible under state law. The National Green Party is nominating Jill Stein today. She got 31,000 votes in Wisconsin in 2016. Governor Evers is asking a federal judge not to impose any changes at Wisconsin's youth prisons. Evers tells federal judge James Peterson the conditions at Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake are slowly getting better. Republican state lawmakers are pushing Peterson to give staff more leeway to discipline inmates after a counselor was killed in June. Black business owners in Milwaukee have a digital resource to set up and grow their ventures. It's called MKE Boss. Pam Bell is a business lender. She admits financial services can be hard for new entrepreneurs to navigate. How do I scale this? Breaking down how much it costs to, you know, create a product and how much do I need to put back into my business so that it's profitable and all of that. August is National Black Business Month. Football fans who'd rather camp than stay at a hotel will have an option when the NFL draft comes to Green Bay next year. The EAA is opening its campground in Oshkosh. People can start making reservations today. They require a three-night minimum stay at $175 a night. The NFL draft is April 19th through the 29th at Lambeau Field. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Here's what you need to know closer to home. For WFHR and WIRI News, I'm Melissa Kay. The town of Grand Rapids has appointed their new police chief. Joseph Zerflu will begin his new position on September 2nd. Zerflu grew up in Port Edwards and has worked with the Wood County Sheriff's Department for the past 20 years. Prior to that, Joseph served with the U.S. Army, where he held the position of military police officer. Zerflu said he is honored and humbled to have been selected for such a competitive position with a great township. The Wisconsin Rapids Police Department has been hiding specially decorated and painted rocks around the city. Their second hidden rock was recently found at Henry Demets Park. You can get a jump start on the next clue by stopping at Dunkin' Donuts today between 6.30 and noon. WRPD officers are there to raise money for Special Olympics. You can ask them to give you the clue early. It will officially be released at 12.30 today. Nothing says fall like corn mazes. This year, four farms have been selected to help build excitement for the 2025 draft in Green Bay with special draft-themed corn mazes. The Wisconsin Agricultural Tourism Association has chosen farms in Ripon, Chilton, Bondul, and our very own Feltz's Dairy Store in Portage County. Each maze will feature a -a one-of-the-kind design to celebrate our strong agricultural identity and honor the hard work and dedication of farmers around the state, while also reminding fans of the special opportunity we have to showcase Wisconsin when the draft comes to Green Bay. The 12-acre Feltz Corn Maze will open on September 21st. Community Trivia Night happens next week Tuesday in Port Edwards at the United Methodist Church. It will benefit the Family Center in Wisconsin Rapids. Dinner is from 5.30 to 7 and trivia begins at 7. The Best Warrior Competition recently finished up in Jericho, Vermont, and our soldier representing Wisconsin placed fourth. Specialist Tevin Kenton of Wausau placed fourth among enlisted competitors from New York, Virginia, Tennessee, Missouri, Montana, and Hawaii. This grueling event tests a soldier's professionalism under challenging conditions and proficiency in soldier tasks. It measures a soldier's physical and mental ability and resilience. Specialist Tevin Kenton is a member of the 105th Cavalry Regiment in Wausau. 
The Kellner Corn Fest kicks off today with bounce houses at Kellner Club from 4 until dark. Live music starts at 7 with the Now Band and plays until 11. On Saturday, the flea market runs from 9 to 4, the Wild West Parade starts at 11, and there'll be live music from 7 to 11 with Blame It On Waylon. Young people can get free help to reduce or quit vaping. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services announced the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line has expanded its text-based Live Free Vape program to include young adults ages 18 to 26. The program will provide people over age 18 with two weeks of free nicotine replacement therapy if medically eligible. You can enroll in a hunter education course today. Wisconsin's fall hunting season is fast approaching. Anyone born on or after January 1, 1973 is required to hold a certificate in hunter education before they can purchase a hunting license. The DNR offers multiple course options and locations so hunters can choose the best format for how and where they'd like to learn. They have the traditional in-person course, online classes, plus a field day course, and more. You can find more information at gowild.wi.gov. And that's what you need to know. I'm Melissa Kay, WFHR and WRI News. The Brewers' Christian Yelich out for the year. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. Christian Yelich undergoing season-ending back surgery today in Milwaukee. It just got to the point where... It wasn't getting better, tried everything I could, ran out of options, and it came time to make a decision. This was the best option, you know, that we really had left. The 32-year-old Yelich making the announcement last night on social media. Meanwhile, the Brewers able to put together an eighth-inning rally to beat the Dodgers 6-4 to four to split the four-game series two games apiece. Reese Hoskins and outfielder Garrett Mitchell. Garrett had a really, really good at-bat to give us first and second um, and really put the pressure on with the, with the tying run at second base, so... Um, yeah, I mean, you feed off each other when, when you're doing that. Um, and I think we are able to put it all together there in the eighth inning. NFL, the Packers joint practice sessions underway today in Denver. A chance for quarterback Jordan Love to work with his long list of receivers against the Broncos defense. We have a real deep you know, receiver group, which, like I said before, is a good problem to have. You know, we got a lot of guys that can go out there and make plays, be in different positions, move all across the field. So um, I think it, it's great. I mean, we'll, we'll mix those guys up. You know, when, if one guy gets tired, another guy gets going. So we just have, you know, fresh guys out there. That's Jordan Love with Sports. I'm Mike Clark. Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Okay, movie fans, as the summer winds down and you're behind on your summer flicks, here are some suggestions in order of my personal enjoyment. Topping the list is Inside Out 2, which I thought was a near-perfect film. I actually liked it better than the original, and it crushed several box office records. If you hurry, you can still catch it on the big screen. Mad Max Furiosa was nonstop fun, and although not the spectacle its predecessor, Mad Max Fury Road, was, it was a heart-pounding fun ride. It is now available to stream, and although not as spectacular in your living room, still a great watch. Number three for me is A Quiet Place Day One, as I really liked how there were no huge stars, which helped me lose myself more in the story. I actually liked the pacing better and the urban setting in Day One more than either of the first two Quiet Place films. Other films that will provide lots of entertainment, Dune 2, The Bike Riders, Civil War, Twisters, and Challengers. Have fun at the movies. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Mostly cloudy, scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Our high 76 today, 62 tonight, tomorrow partly cloudy, an isolated thunderstorm possible 79. Then on Sunday, mostly sunny with a high near 81. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it's 69. That's your WFHR and WIRI Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WFHR.com or Wiscountry. That's W-I-S-Country.com.